Hello and welcome to the channel, my name is Andy and this is my own car. Something a bit different today. I thought I'd show you around my own personal car. Now, the sun is shining today. First time this year I'm able to actually um, give a, a good walk around video with this thing. So yes, the Mark IV Ford Mondeo. Um, I do talk about these ones um, in depth whenever we get one in stock. And for good reason, because I personally own one myself, I do recommend them. This is my one, it's a 2009 on a 59 Reg. My cherished plate is on the car, obviously. It's my show plates. I know they're illegally spaced and uh, yeah, they have got the tint there on the back, but I do like it. Um, this one is the sunroof model. It's the one that I opted for. It's the Titanium X Sport, the 2.2 diesel engine. Pre-facelift, so Mark IV. And having a look around the vehicle. So what I've done is I've spoken to SK Graphics. I did have uh, some new badges fitted on this one, supplied by those guys. I do recommend them. Did have the, um, the number plate surrounds there from eBay. Bridgestone tires all round on this car. Um, I had the wheels refurbished and colour changed. I think I am going to opt back for silver on this though. And then the uh, the brake carriers, I actually used a Vauxhall Red. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Um, the, rear, uh, the rear lights there were tinted by LM Window Tints, local to me here in Corby, Northamptonshire. And of course, being a Titanium Export, we do have uh, that nice spoiler and the rear diffuser down the bottom. Now, being a 2.2, you do get the, uh, the twin exit tailpipes there. Um, you don't get that on a two litre, and that's uh, that's what really pushed me to own this uh, 2.2. Does have the rear tinted windows there as well, and the Heco wind deflectors. In my opinion, they uh, they do look really smart. So yeah, just showing you around my own car what I run around in. Um, it is absolutely filthy, in my opinion, for my uh, for my standards, but, you know, uh, the weather's not been overly kind to us recently, so um, so I have neglected my vehicle. You do have the solar reflex windscreen there. So, yeah, please bear in... Please bear with me inside. Folding mirrors upon closure. Heco kick plate. Aluminium foot pedals, and of course, you do have the uh, leather seats or the partial leather seats for the Alcantara and the red stitching. Heated front seat, six speed manual gearbox. I, I did actually go on being a 2.2, I went onto eBay and I managed to find a short shifter, um, which is really, really easy to fit. It will take anybody no more absolutely no more than 10 minutes even if you're not mechanically minded to fit that it cost around about five pounds um well worth investing in uh, i've got this stupid lead here for uh, little bits of lights um which i have down in the footwells um you do have this uh i've had this fitted and this holder as well they are terrible don't have them for your phone holder um i have got this uh, big Samsung phone holder up there. I did have the uh, dash cam fitted there as well. It's hardwired in. Um, there was a, a kind gentleman that done a YouTube video for us and uh, explained how to do that. So I thought, well, I'm not going to do a video on it. It's pointless. There's a, there's already one that I've used to fit that, and it's um, yeah, it's, it's done a very good job. Auto dimming rear view mirror, um, and then yeah, SK Graphics again. This is the one that I opted for. Red with the um, with the carbon. That will go there. There you go. Really smart. Cruise control on this one, voice control. Have a look then at the dash. I bought this vehicle at 89,000 miles, now done close to 94,000. And uh, that's the mileage, the average mileage per gallon, 38.4. That's a, a mixture of long journeys and around town. I do normally have a, a heavy right foot, but I've been very conservative re recently. Um, Shell V power fuel. That's what I recommend, and that's the only fuel that I use for my own cars. Um, automatically operated headlights, the Xenons on this. Um, yeah, really, really good quality. And uh, the previous owner did add the LED lights on this vehicle inside and outside. Um, one thing that I don't like 
on these vehicles is the color of the roof. I'd love a black roof. So that's definitely gonna be an investment that I'll be making there in the summer. I'm gonna change all the roof there to black, but I do love the sunroof. Um, it took me months to find to find a, a good example, a good low mileage, relatively low mileage example uh, for the money that I had at the time with a sunroof. But yes, this one's remapped, DPF, EGR, Delete. Um, originally 175 brake horsepower on the pre-facelift, now produces around about 210, there or thereabouts. Um, the torque on it's incredible. Definitely recommend it. I've owned several of these now. I think I've on 13 Ford Mondos in total. Um, the 1.8 gave me anxiety with a wet belt, but very, very good on the fuel economy. Very good. Uh, around about 80 miles to the gallon I was getting on the journey. Absolutely incredible. Two litre was phenomenal. Felt really tight. Had a really nice low mileage example um, a couple of years ago. Love that car, but just it didn't touch the sides with a 2.2 Titanium X Sport. These just look really smart in my opinion. The performance on them just makes you smile. Um, would I recommend a black one? No. Um, they're an absolute nightmare to keep clean. Um, but that being said, when they are, they do look really smart. Um, I will keep modifying this. Um, because I do get bored, obviously running the used car business, you do get bored with cars. Um, this one's running 25 wheel, mil wheel spaces at the moment. Um, yeah, they, they just look aggressive in my opinion, I won't be changing them anytime soon. Look really smart, I've had no problems, so yeah, keep going with them. But there you have it folks, there's my own car, the 2009 on a 59 Reg, Ford Mondeo, Titanium Export 2.2. Um, yeah, all the best, cheers now.